Basically, when you're road cruising at night, most of these snakes are nocturnal and they're hunting at night. They're on the move, they're out looking. Uh, and uh, you've got much better chances, just you can cover so much more area by just driving down the road. So you want to find kind of more rural, out there, not very many cars, roads like that, and you just cruise and hope for the best. Uh, often tonight was kind of bad with the temperature and the rain. But if it's been a really uh, hot day and it cools down kind of quick and the road is still really hot, often you'll have lots of snakes that are coming to cross. They hit that asphalt that's black and hot and they'll just stop and just sit there and soak it up for a while. I have, find great fascination in animals and in wildlife and uh, uh, getting out there and be able to see that many, especially here in the Everglades, there's such a dense amount of snakes and reptiles and you can get out and see such a variety as well. Uh, one night, Devin and I found, I think it was like 12 different species of snakes in one night just by cr driving down the road. Uh, we found like over 20 snakes, but 12 different species in one night. And it's, there's not very many places you can do that. I'm just calling to call in a python hunt for tonight. Yes, ma'am. It's the Francis Taylor Wildlife Management Area. The name is Devin Belliston, D-E-V-I-N-B-E-L-L-I-S-T-O-N. This is a wild snake we just picked up. It's not biting us, not what? trying to kill us. And But people will think it's a python. They'll report it on the line. Yeah. And Cause... that's a, actually one of the big issues. You have a lot of negative kill, hate pythons, bad, bad, bad. So people are killing any native snake. snakes, any snakes. They think all snakes are bad. And that is one of the big issues. We don't want the pythons here, but we also really, really don't want people killing the native snakes that we have here. I was just walking back to the car and I saw something dark on the road that wasn't there when we left the car, so I knew it had to be a snake. He's native, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go because we don't take the native stuff. We're only gonna take pythons if we get them. So we can just kind of get him off the road so nothing happens to him and he'll be on his way. But look at this for an example. If there's a python, in the grass, you'll just see very soon here that this thing will be gone. You can see it's kind of a cooler night and he's not moving that much, but. Yeah, this is another reason we're thinking it's harder to find pythons at night like this because it's so cold. You see oh, how yeah. sluggish he is. They're, oh, uh... there I'm not gonna lie, a lot, a lot of people act like it's more like they're trying to do something for the environment and that is one of our reasons. We don't uh, want to promote that thing put more of these species into the wild, but it is a huge sense of adventure and excitement for us. Winning, like when we won the Python Challenge, my whole life, a lot of times we've been being scolded by teachers and adults. Don't touch the snake, you're, yeah, you're, don't mess with that animal. And now we're down here and everyone's giving me a pat on the back and congratulations for catching pythons.